Good day students. Our topic for today is Module 3, Pregnancy and the Changes it does on a Mother's Body. Before we begin let's answer this one. From our previous lesson we talk about marriage. What are the ingredients of a successful marriage? List in the picture given in your modules what are the ingredients of successful marriage. I will give you 5 minutes to answer. Do you think marriage will work if it lacks any of the ingredients? Now let's analyze the pictures using the guide questions. 1. Are these pictures related to each other? 2. What do these pictures show? After planning a family, there will be a time that the woman may conceive a child and get to the stage of preparing to become a parent. This is the stage of pregnancy. Pregnancy is a time of many changes. This includes physical, biological, emotional and mental changes in a person. Pregnancy is also known as gestation. It is time during which one or more offspring develops inside a woman's womb. The ball of cells enters the uterus and attaches itself to the uterine wall is the process where it starts in the female reproductive system. Usually lasts about 40 weeks, or just over 9 months, as measured from the last menstrual period to delivery. As what you remember in our previous quarter, we discussed that one problem encountered by teenagers is teenage pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy, a premature pregnancy that occur in mothers who may be too young and or immature to care for a child adequately which might result to possible health risks, and in some cases limited life options. What is fertilization? Fertilization is a reproductive process wherein half of the genes of a mother and father combine to form a single cell which will divide and multiply to form more cells. These are the following effects and risk of teenage pregnancy. 1. Education interrupted. 2. Health risk. Example. Obstetric fistula. 3. Maternal mortality. 4. Premature birth. And 5. Stillbirth. Common terms in pregnancy discomfort, a feeling of slight pain, morning sickness is a common symptom of pregnancy and is marked by nausea and occasional vomiting. Braxton Hicks are sporadic contractions and relaxation of the uterine muscle, also referred as pretermal or false labor. Pains Contractions is when the muscles of your uterus tighten up like a fist and then relax. Trimester, term for the three different stages of pregnancy. Complications, a secondary disease or condition aggravating an already existing one. Here are some statistics about teen pregnancy. 1. Teens at 15 and younger face 60% high risk of death during 
pregnancy and childbirth than young mothers age of 20. 2. Babies born by young mothers are two to three times more likely to die in their first year. 3. Teen mothers are twice more likely to deliver low birth weight infants. 4. 70% of teen mothers get no medical care at all and 25% get no prenatal care at all, thus high risk for complications. 5. Young mothers are likely to drop out of school and face high risk of unemployment, poverty and dependency on parents. 6. Separation is high in these kinds of relationships. 7. Young mother is more likely to be angered and disillusioned by her baby's demands and may become an abusive parent. Be presumptive, probable and positive signs of pregnancy. Presumptive, signs and symptoms that don't necessarily mean you are pregnant. Probable signs, signs that is present and much more likely to indicate. Pregnancy. Positive signs, signs that definitely confirm pregnancy. What is placenta? Placenta is the organ that grows in the woman's uterus during pregnancy which allows the exchange of nutrients, like oxygen, and wastes between the mother and the baby. Normal changes and symptoms throughout the pregnancy. Fatigue. Back pain. Varicose veins. Sleep problems. Hemorrhoids and constipation. Leg cramps. Breast changes. Morning sickness. Pelvic hip pain. Heart changes. Heartburn. Nosebleed slash bleeding gums. Stretch marks. And pain vaginal discharge. Below are descriptions characterizing conditions from first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. Over the nine-month period, the woman's uterus stretches to hold a full-sized newborn baby. It makes her abdomen gets larger. Pregnant women also experience swelling of legs. Difficulty in sleeping, restlessness and irritability. Prevention and management. Special condition, nausea, improper body weight. Prevention and management, small frequent feedings instead of three large meals and high carbohydrates. Low-fat foods such as crackers and jelly and liquids should be taken between meals. Special condition, morning sickness. Prevention and management, intake of folic acid as prescribed by the doctor. Special condition, anemia, RBC deficiency. Prevention and management, proper nutrition. And lastly, special condition, diabetes and constipation. Prevention and management, fluid intake proper nutrition, and exercise. Once the uterus is prepared Let's for implantation Let's watch this following clips about pregnancy. Conception can occur. Now it is up to the sperm, deposited by the male, to make its way through the cervix and to the egg. At the time of ovulation, the hormones of the uh, menstrual cycle have made the mucus very thin and easy for the sperm to penetrate and they swim up through the uterine cavity into the fallopian tube and while there are millions of sperm deposited uh, not all of them make it to the outer part of the fallopian tube where the egg is waiting um, but there are still several million there and they, one of them will fertilize the egg. Uh, after fertilization occurs uh, there's a change in the uh, outer covering of the egg so that a second sperm cannot enter the egg. And then that fertilized egg 
uh, which is called a zygote, uh, starts dividing into two cells and then four cells. It uh, forms a small cluster of cells called a morula, which travels down into the uterus and implants. Uh, within that cluster of cells, a cavity starts to form, filled with fluid, and uh, at this point it's called a blastocyst. And part of that becomes the placenta that uh, embeds in the wall of the uterus and supplies the uh, embryo with nutrition and oxygen, and part of the uh, blastocyst becomes the embryo, which later becomes the baby. A normal full-term pregnancy is uh, defined as 40 weeks from the date that the last menstrual period started until delivery. Um, and it's divided into thirds. Um, so each one is, each trimester is a third of the pregnancy. So the first trimester would be the first three months, the second trimester, the second three months and the third trimester, the last three months of the pregnancy. The first trimester, um, the embryo is still developing, and that is the time when um, birth defects may occur in response to drugs uh, that the mother may be taking. They can have an effect on the developing fetus. Um, also, that's the point, the first uh, trimester that of an early miscarriage may occur, and that occurs in about 20% of all pregnancies. Uh, the second trimester is, and the third trimesters are involved just more in growth of the baby. There's not as likely to be an effect, a, a birth defect caused by medications at that point, although they may affect the baby in other ways. Um, the third trimester for the last three months of pregnancy is generally the point that the uh, fetus has a chance of surviving if it were born the last three months. And now with new technology, maybe even part of the last second, the last part of the second trimester, um, babies can survive if they are delivered prematurely. Because the female body must support not only itself, but also the developing fetus, it goes through a great many changes during a pregnancy. Uh, the blood vessels become more dilated or more open. That increases the blood flow to the uterus so that it can grow. There are changes in the breast tissue. The breast glands begin to get ready to produce milk. Um, and there are changes in the uh, ligaments that hold the bones together. The hormones cause softening of the ligaments that allow some movement of the bones in the pelvis to allow more room for delivery. Since the male does not give birth to the child, the male reproductive system is much less complex. But simple though it may be, it too is an essential part of the reproductive process. The male reproductive system begins with the testes. In the same way that the eggs are created in the ovaries of the female body, the sperm are created in the testes of the male body. The sperm are then stored in the epididymis, the coiled tube on the top of the testes. Before being expressed, they are combined with seminal fluid, which nourishes and lubricates the sperm as they make their way to the egg. Pregnancy is not just a woman's condition that had a man had to be involved in uh, and is responsible for that life that they created.
to be heartwarmed of the feeling in a pregnancy situation. Let us now listen to this music by Ice Segra and by Freddie Aguilar. Isilang ka sa mundong ito Laking tuwa ng magulang mo At ang kamay nilang yung ilaw At ang nanay at tatay mo'y Di malaman ang gagawin Namustan pati pagtulog mo Sa gabi, nagkukuyat ang iyong nanay Sa pagtimpla ng gatas mo At sa umaga na may talong ka ng iyong amang Tuwang-tuwa sa'yo Ngayon nga ay malaki ka na Nais mo'y maging malaya Di man sila payag walang magagawa Ikaw nga ay biglang nagbago Naging matigas ang iyong ulo At ang payo nila'y sinuwan mo Di mo man lang Isip na ang kanilang ginagawa'y para sa'yo Kat ang nais mo'y masunod ang layaw mo Di mo sila pinapansin Nagdaan pa ang mga araw At ang landas mo'y naligaw ikaw ay nalulong sa masamang bisyo At ang una mong nilapitan Ang iyong inang lumuluha At ang tanong anak, ba't ka nagkaganyan? At ang iyong mga matay Biglang lumuha ng di mo napapansin Magsisisiyag sa isip mo Nalaman mo Ika'y nagkamali Magsisisiyag sa isip mo Nalaman mo Ika'y nagkamali
quotes to end the day. A baby fills a place in your heart that you never knew was empty. And you never understand life until it grows inside of you. By Sandra Cassis. Thank you for listening and watching. See you again next week. I'm your virtual teacher. Mabuhai.